hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be going over how to get sky coins Ooh, real pretty. Uh, but yeah we're gonna go over how to get sky coins and what you can do with them so first of all you can see your sky coin amount over here on the right side of your screen uh, in the uh, the lead the scoreboard thing and you can either have store them there or you can do slash is bank if you want to do upgrades and put them in here so the biggest thing for sky coins i think at the beginning of the game is i made upgrades so if you do slash is upgrade you can see all of the upgrades you can get and now this will take a lot of it's not <laughs> if you if you upgrade everything it will be a whole bunch of sky coins but if you upgrade everything to the max in your island upgrades, you will get the maxed tag, which I don't have yet because we haven't maxed anything out or everything out this season yet. But that is one thing you can do with sky coins. Another thing you can do with sky coins is I think you can upgrade generators with it. Yeah, you can upgrade generators with it. You can also upgrade mythical chests. I don't know why we have two, but as you can see, it costs sky coins to upgrade. And then you can also buy and upgrade servants with sky coins. You can see, upgrade the mob, it is uh, a certain amount of sky coins depending on the level of mob you're at. Uh, you also can buy servants, that's how I have so many servants, uh, from the black market, and it's quite wa rare. Uh, but one servant is two million sky coins and you can only buy one in season one and some of season two you could buy uh, more than one I think you could max out at 10 for the ser the certain servants BM and that is how a bunch of people got it but this just limits the amount you can get per BM which makes the game a lot more fair if you're not able to grind and stuff like that uh, also if you didn't know just update potatoes are back in the rs so that's good i have a bunch of potatoes as you can see still working on it there's bm again uh but another thing you i think that's a lot of things you can do with sky coins uh size upgrades some random things here and there servants generators stuff like that um, I might be missing some stuff out in the. I'll find it later. Uh, I might be missing some stuff, so just let me know in the comments. And anybody who needs to know more, just look at the comments. And ah. some people will probably tell you down there, or I will. So, a good way to make sky coins. My favorite way of making sky coins is by farming. Uh, if I just like go down here and turn my sound down so you don't get deaf. You can see my sky coins amount is going up uh, pretty quickly. If I just sell this stuff. Uh, so that is one way to get sky coins. Another way is mining, which if you didn't know, they buffed mining a whole bunch, I think three times for getting sky coins. If I just uh, do this, you can see my sky coins are going up. Not as much as farming, but it's still pretty good. Uh, especially with Super Breaker. So, as you can see, that is going up good. And then, also, you can get it from killing mobs, and I'll show you another way. So I'm not going to show you where the skeleton is because we have it set up differently so that you can get multiple stacks down there. But I'll show you with blazes because it's just easier whenever they spawn in. And then you can also get souls and XP from blazes. So as you can see, I am getting sky coins. Not as much, but I'm still getting sky coins. Another way you can get sky coins is by chopping down trees. So if I do slash shop and farming wherever his saplings are, one, two, three, four, and then some bones, I don't need to, oh. can be turned off, I just need some bones, that should be plenty, and then if I grow a tree real quick, uh, we'll just do it right here, uh, we need some bone meal.
I don't know why it's taking some me from me to grow a tree, but uh, it is. Maybe it's the grass around it. No? Okay. Uh, that's certainly strange. Let me try just like a, this corner over here. There we go. So, what I usually do is grow a bunch of trees around, or this is what I did in season one. And with Lumberjack 2, you could break it instantly, but with the uh, legendary transforming tool, it will also break instantly. And as you can see, my sky coins are going up pretty quickly, also. Um, but yeah, so this is another good way to make some sky coins. Oh, ah! Well, that happened. <laughs> Let me just sell everything real quick. And get rid of this. But yeah, those are some ways to get sky coins. There are also some pets that will help you get sky coins more. So if you do slash pets, uh, there's 16, not 24. Yeah, 24. You can see the silverfish pet has a chance to, uh, well, this is a sky coin booster, depending on your level, is a good pet to have, but I'm having trash luck at getting it. So that's one way. Also, I think some dragon armor might, yeah, I think ancient, yeah, ancient gives you a sky coin multiplier while farming, killing mobs and mining, not trees and stuff. I don't believe these do anything for it, nope. And then also you can get some uh, just boosters, I'm just gonna find some in here. Uh, there's personal and island boosters, I believe. Personal is just for you. Island, it applies to all the people on your island. And as you can see, there are different uh, types, or not types, but uh, the multipliers. So this is 1.25, so the lowest. And then the island boosters will be in blue like this. This is just, yeah, there it is. Two rec sky coin booster for island members. Now there is a cooldown for this. There is not a cooldown for the personal ones, I believe. Um, but that is how that works. And then you can also get um, boosters, I don't know, uh, personal boosters. Yeah, you can buy Skycoin boosters with heads from the head shop. So let's check how many heads you have, do slash heads, uh, head shop. No, do slash H token. And then you see I have 6,000. 196. The best way to get them, I say, is from the lucky block. If I just. Well. Let's not be teleported into the air, would be preferable. Yahoo! Good thing I'm wearing armor. Ow. Um, I don't think I got any heads from that. I do not, but there's a good chance of getting heads. I got a bunch of <laughs> random stuff, but that is a way I can show you. I don't know how much it costs, so we'll find out. So a shop, um, personal booster, skycon booster, and then okay, so two X is two fifty, one point eight, one point six, one point four, and one point two. So it's not terrible actually. Um, but yeah, that is how you can buy them. You can also buy them off of the auction house. Just do slash AH if my keyboard doesn't multiply the letters. And just do sky. I just want to do sky because it will show up. And there's all the different boosters and you can see them. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that is all you need to know about sky coins and how to earn them and all that stuff. Use them. Uh, if you, just a real qu quick tip. If you're buying island upgrades, you must have the sky coins in your bank, not in your, uh, over here, not in your balance, as it will not work. It will say you don't have enough sky coins, even if you have them over here, uh, then it must be in your bank. You can do slash is bank, click on this, putting your amount in. You can also do slash is bank, deposit, no, is uh deposit sky coins and then the mount that also works 
and then you can also see how many uh, you can do slash sky coins top to see the person with the most which appears to be trap he's probably farming a lot uh, but as you can see I'm probably not on here no I'm not uh, it's because I spend all my sky coins over there uh, but that is pretty much all you need to know about sky coins if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer if you haven't yet please consider liking and subscribing as we are so close to 1000 we are only 90 away or so as we're recording this and yeah thank you to everyone who watched this video and i'll see you in another video goodbye everyone have a wonderful rest of your day